it is way too early to rank all 58 rookies on their performance this year, but I'm going to do it anyway. This episode is going to be rookies number 1 to 10. First up is Pelo Bancaro. He's going to get a grade of A- minus because his deep range shots aren't that good. He has 21.8 points per game, 3.6 assists per game, 7.6 rebounds per game, and 1 block per game. There is no doubt in my mind that Paolo is going to win Rookie of the Year. Chet Holmgren, the man who said... Best player in the NBA, in your opinion. Uh, myself in two months. He played well in the Summer League, but he has been injured and hasn't played an NBA game yet. So for that reason, I'm going to give him a grade of can't say. Taken third by the Rockets, Jabari Smith. I'm going to give him a B grade. The blocks have been great, but he's committed 3.8 fouls on average per game. He's gotten 11.9 points per game and 6.4 rebounds per game. That hasn't changed the fact that the Rockets are 1-7. in seven. Coming straight from Iowa, Keegan Murray. He gets a B-plus grade because the turnovers have been way too high, but the three-point percentage and the points per game have been great. I'm excited to see what he will do in the future. Number 5, the Pistons' Jaden Ivey. Everyone had huge expectations for him this year, and so did I. I'm not going to say he let the people down because he recorded 15.7 points per game and 3.7 assists per game, but the free throw percentage is low and he hasn't been producing as much as people would like. But still, props to Jaden Ivey. He's been incredible. Benedict Matherin. He is my dark horse for the Rookie of the Year. I'm going to give him an A- grade because you have to be like an MVP to get an A or an A+, top 10. This guy's got that dog in him with 20.4 points per game, shooting 42.9 from the three, 27.2 points per game per 36 minutes played. Shaden Sharp. Just like Benedict Matherin, he has a 42.9 three-point percentage, and he's hitting 50% from the field goal. Yes, I put two percentages. Yes, I just realized that right now. The only flaws are that he isn't really scoring the points, and we haven't seen enough because he missed a few games due to illness. There's also a rumor that he has a 49-inch vertical. Factoring all this in, he gets a grade of B+. Drafted from the G League Ignite, Dyson Daniels. He played one full game and then got injured against the Nets. He's been injured since then. Can't say. Jeremy Sohan. When you're the number nine pick, people expect more than eight points per game, no matter what position you are. He did get 4.3 rebounds per game, but the shooting has been horrible. Thankfully, he has defense, so I give him a C. The 10th draft pick, Johnny Davis. I'm sorry to everyone hearing this, but I don't see anything special. He gets 28.6 from the field goal range, 0.5 assists per game, 6 points per game per 36 minutes played. I'm trying to find a good stat, but I can't. I don't want to give him an F, so I give him a D-. Thank you so much for watching this video. Rookies 11 to 20 will be coming soon. I will see you next time.